Hi, it's me JD and welcome back to my channel. This video is a follow-up to the gateful techniques video. It's all about belly bands. Belly bands are also called card wraps and they're a way to decorate and also close up your card or invitation and just makes it a little bit extra special. You generally see them in wedding invitations or really fancy cards, but there's different ways to make them for any kind of occasion for paper crafts. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and check out the gates fold technique video if you haven't already. I'm going to start by finishing the gatefold card that I did in the previous gatefold techniques video. I have this really intricate background die gatefold card and I wanted something of interest in the background. So I'm taking up all of my scraps and I'm laying them down on a card panel to make this fun pattern. And this will be on the inside of my gatefold card. So you'll see all of the different colors peeking through that background die panel. Once that is adhered, I'm going to work on the inside sentiment. Using another scrap, I just stamped my inside sentiment on it and then adhered it to the inside of my card. Since my entire card is looking a little busy, I wanted to stick with a basic belly band. Um, I did want to add some interest by just using a stencil and sponging on some metallic ink on it just to make it a little, a little extra special. For any paper belly band, you want to make sure that you're using a nice quality cardstock that's going to be sturdy enough to hold the card together and not fall apart when your recipient tries to remove it. I'm just centering the stencil portion of the belly band across my card so it's centered. And then I'll use some really strong double-sided adhesive to connect the belly band. And you can use any length you want. You just want to make sure that um, it overlaps your card and it's, you're not too short or there's not too much excess hanging over. You can also make it whatever height you want it to be. When you go to join the two ends together, just make sure you give a little bit of wiggle room to make sure that the belly band will slide easily. A popular style of belly bands is to make it out of vellum. You often see this in wedding invitations. So it's the same technique as before. You just want to measure it to size and making sure that there's a little bit of slack to slide the belly band up and down. And since my card is not a wedding invitation, I decided to add this really fun word die to it. I think I think this is the biggest word die I've, I've seen and I love it. I cut it out of some pearlized paper and I only put glue down where the word die cut would be touching the vellum. I used a pencil to make sure that I was in those boundaries and then I'll just go to erase those marks. The vellum belly band was supposed to be subtle, but I made it bold with the word die cut and I love it. If you have a lot of sentiment stamps, then you can make sentiment strips into belly bands like I did here. I stamped and then poured some embossing powder over it and then heat set it with my heat tool. And then I'll trim it down to size, the size of a typical sentiment strip, but it's an extra long sentiment strip because it's going to serve as the belly band to this card. Same as before, I'm making sure that the sentiment is centered across my card. And then when I go to join the two ends together, I make sure that there's enough wiggle room for the belly band to slide up and down. I love that the sentiment strip belly band serves two purposes. It serves as a sub sentiment as well as a belly band. And it just looks cute. Another common type of belly band that you see often in greeting cards and wedding invitations is to use a ribbon. I stamped and heat embossed a sentiment on the inside so my card is ready to go. Now I'm just cutting this fabric ribbon down to size. I don't normally use a lot of ribbon in my paper crafts simply because I'm not very good at tying bows. If you are good at tying bows, then show me your way. <laughs> just leave a comment because I just always struggle with bows. I don't know what it is. I am totally the person that buys the sticky back bow and sticks it on a present <laughs> rather than tying one from scratch. Now this is the kind of bow that I like to do. It is a paper bow or essentially a paper ribbon. And I originally was going to use cardstock, but I thought the bow would look prettier on vellum. So 
I'm gonna go use vellum paper. But anyway, it's essentially a paper ribbon belly band. Um, same as all other belly bands, but it just has the look of a bow, which makes it more feminine and a little more formal, which is nice. I die cut all of my bow pieces and then I'm just going to use glue to adhere it together as well as some tweezers to hold it in place while it dries. I'll set that aside and work on the actual belly band. And now the disadvantage to a paper ribbon belly band versus a fabric ribbon belly band is that it's going to get a little smushed if you mail it. So just keep that in mind. Um, this technique might be better or might keep its shape more if it's a hand delivered card like in a gift bag or a wedding card or something. A fun way to add texture to your gatefold card is to use jute or twine for your belly band. What I like about using this material is that it is a little sturdier than your average fabric ribbon and it holds its shape a little more. If you send a card with a jute or twine wrap or a belly band, you know that it won't get like too smush, it won't get any weird folds or anything like that. It'll probably retain its shape pretty well. Jute comes in very rustic colors or twine, baker's twine comes in a variety of colors. A fun way to get more use out of your word dies is to integrate them into your belly band. You know, instead of placing them right on top of your belly band, you can actually use it as a part of your belly band so it looks like one continuous strip. For this technique, it's best to use a thicker word die, um, something like this here that has a little bit thicker letters and you can attach a sturdier strip of cardstock to. And as you saw, I just stuck some uh, adhesive on one end of the word die cut and then I'm going to carefully somewhat score and then wrap this scent wrap the strip around my card just to make sure that the word die cut is as centered as possible. You can definitely measure if you want to. I am somewhat of a crafty rebel and therefore sometimes I just kind of like to eyeball things. I'll put some glue down to adhere the other side of the word die cut and then I'll set something heavy on top just to weigh it down and make sure it sticks. Once it dries, you'll have a fun word die cut belly band. If you have some extra tool hanging around, then you can use that for your belly band. For this card, I added my word die cut on my card panel and then I'm going to use this tool and just wrap it around my card a couple times so I get somewhat of a this bow shape and then once that's done and I make sure that I can remove and slide the belly band then I'm going to use some liquid adhesive and just glue that down so it keeps its shape and you think like, oh my God, that looks ugly <laughs> and it does. So I'm going to wait till it dries and then I'm going to glue some, uh, some of these kind of clear sequins on top, or I should say they're silver sequins, just to help hide that messy adhesive. And you guys are like, JD, I still see the adhesive, it still looks ugly. I know, but I wanted to let you know that after it does dry completely, that you can barely see the adhesive. For this next handmade card idea, I decided to use acetate for my belly band. I have a really fun acetate sheet that I got from my local craft store like years ago. I don't even know if they still carry it. But if your local craft store has something like this, um, it's definitely fun to get as it has this really cute pattern on top of the acetate and I didn't have to do the heat embossing or any of that. So what I'm doing is I'm using my scoreboard to uh, make scores in this acetate and it it folds a lot better and creases a lot better than I thought. So that was a nice surprise. I'm going to wrap this around my card using some double sided tape and this belly band slides really easily and it's really sturdy. So I think the acetate belly band ended up being one of my favorites just because it's also cute to look at. This next belly band involves using my border die. I'm just going to mark a line on my paper and then I'm going to line up the border die along my pencil mark. Then I'll just slide the border die down to make one uh, long strip. Except in my case, I wanted to use up all of my scrap paper. So I um, cut this strip out of some, uh, some shorter cardstock than you know, I wanted to. So I just ended up making two strips of paper and then I'll end up joining them together. 
I'm going to position the die cut belly band over my card how I want it. And as you'd see, it's just too short. So that's why I have the second strip. I'll cut that down to size. And then using some more double sided adhesive, I'm just going to join these two pieces together and no one will ever know. It also adds a nice, um, adds some stability to the belly band too. And then I realized I needed a sentiment, so I went and heat embossed my sentiment on top of the die cut belly band. For a whimsical touch to your belly band, you can stamp and create a scene. So I have this fun uh, neighborhood village or happy village stamp set, and I use that to create a little neighborhood. This is going to be, you know, congratulations on your new home kind of card. And after um, cutting off the top edge, I'm going to trim the sides down just to make it make my belly band a little bit slimmer. I didn't want this belly band to be too tall because I didn't want it to hide the die cut gatefold card that I have. I have a cute little cloud at the top and some grass at the bottom, which is why I'm going to be doing some ink blending. And this is a very fantastical look <laughs> at uh, sky and grass. It's a pink sky and gray grass, but I figured, hey, I have a color scheme going. I'm going to stick to it. So after ink blending all of that on, I'm going to center my belly band and then using some more double sided tape, I'm going to join the two ends together. I'll position it where you can kind of see the die cut sky and die cut grass. I went back and stamped my sentiment on the inside of the card and this happy little belly band completed this happy little gatefold card. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of you and make sure to stay tuned for the next video.